this is our new servo DMX controller. We've got a knob on there to adjust positions, set limits, a couple buttons to allow you to navigate some menus. It includes two mounting feet, which can be pushed into the sides. That will allow you to surface mount it. And there are some optional DIN rail mounts, which can slide onto the back and allow you to clip the controller to DIN rail. There are 16 servo outputs. Uh, the unit can be purchased in 8, 12, or 16 output versions. It can be upgraded later uh, using our software if you'd like to. Each servo has a LED which represents the state of that servo. If the servo is on, or sorry, if the LED is on, then the servo is on. If the LED is flashing, it means the servo is moving. And if the light's off, then it just means that there's no signal currently being sent, which usually lets analog servos uh, go to sleep. As far as terminal blocks, we have power input here. There's actually a servo and digital power input if you need to supply separate power rails, which is useful in some cases if the servo power supply is browning out. We have DMX in and out via terminal block and also via Cat5 over DMX, which is wired as per the ESTA standard. The last connector here is an auxiliary connector. That has an audio input, which will allow you to connect an audio signal to control servo one. So if you don't wanna control servo one using DMX, you'd rather control it live using maybe a, an actor's microphone or um, some sort of other audio, pre-recorded audio track, you can connect that audio signal here and uh, that can be used to control servo output one. And then lastly, this output can control uh, NeoPixels. So we use NeoPixels in some props to light up the eyes and control the different uh, the colors of the eyes. So the NeoPixels can be connected to that header there or to the screw terminals if you have a different uh, NeoPixel board than we do. This is one that we use in our eyes. And as you can see, um, the DMX signal is changing the eye color from uh, blue, green, red, and everything in between. So uh, pretty versatile output for adding some lighting to your prop. And that's basically it for the new Servo DMX. I'll watch some, some of the other videos to learn how to program it and set it up and some of the other features. Thanks.